sliver. If we look here, it's kind of hard to see because we've expanded it, but you can see this sort of white line dividing it into, if we could envision it not being squished when it was divided into a hexagon. That's what makes you know this is a liver. Not that you guys are going to have to do that, but we need to know. So each of these structures bounded by the white line is a lobule. So all of you to have, you know, potentially hundreds of these inside. Um, the cells, the little pink cells that make it up, all of these are hepatocytes. We're not going to worry about any of the other ones, so that's easy. Inside of each of these, we should see a hole. Now, when they section it, they often do a crappy job, but I think that we'll consider this to be a central vein, okay? Unless we see a better one elsewhere, which we usually don't, so we're going to have to probably go with that. Maybe that's a central vein. Hard to know. We're looking for some sort of hole near the middle of the lobule. And that might be a central vein, some sort of hole. Now, they also want you to be able to find the sinusoids, which, if we get in closer to a lobule, and you can see that it's made up of cells, which are the hepatocytes, and then little white spaces, which are the sinusoids. So they're all the little white spaces between the cells. A big white space, like this one, would probably be the central vein, but these little ones would just be the sinusoids. Um, then they want you to be able to tell the difference between the bile duct, the hepatic artery, and then a branch of the hepatic portal vein. Um, I think the picture that we have is the best. The hepatic portal vein they form a triad near the edge of the lobule, so here it is. This guy is definitely the hepatic portal vein. It's always big, mouth-shaped, all that good stuff. Then you're looking for um, the hepatic artery to look like a typical artery. So it might be this one over here. We can get in closer and see. But then a bile duct will have a bigger round uh, that border to it, and let's see what it looks like if we get in another layer. Oh no, that's not one. No, we get in closer, and this is where this starts to fall apart because it's not necessarily the best. And you guys can't see anything. Here we go. So here's an artery. And here's a bile duct. So the artery is going to have a nice muscular wall like we see there. And then the bile duct just has big thick cells around the edge. Will the bile duct always be next to an artery? Not necessarily. But it, it often will be, yes. Ooh, here's a really clear bile duct. Now we can see the difference. And see, now that's why I should never speak until we get in really close. Um, where the hell did it go? Aha! Here is a bile duct. Here is the nice cells. And then actually, now that we look closer, we can see both of these are arteries. Both of those are little arteries. So both of these are arteries, and this is a little bile duct. So are the arteries most likely bigger than the bile duct? It could be. They could be approximately the same size, but notice the difference. This has muscle, and what I was mistaking for big, thick cells is actually more of a muscle layer. Notice that this is just a ring of cells, okay? So you can certainly use size for the hepatic uh, duct, the, the uh, portal vein, because it's ginormous. I think we'll, on these slides, we'll have to get in pretty close at this level to be able to tell the difference between the arteries with their muscle wall and the bile ducts which lack muscle completely in the wall. Okay, so that's that one.